Okay, today we're going to fly this trainer plane. Uh, this is a scratch built trainer plane from Mikey's RC. We got the plans from Mikey's RC and made this out of foam. Mm -hmm. Where did we get the foam? We got the foam at Michael's, but you can get it cheaper at Office Max. Okay. And then we also, from the supermarket, got some barbecue skewers. Right Maybe more here. specifically, we got it uh, at Super Dollar. Pretty and, cheap. And they're actually made out of bamboo. They're bamboo. Bamboo barbecue yeah. skewers. And, uh, and the control was is just your average uh, bailing wire. Yeah, it's sort of a, I think it's sort of an aluminum. Actually, it's aluminum. stainless steel. Some of it. And then some is just regular steel. Okay. What was it? How big was it? Uh, I think it was close to what Mikey said, but it's a little bit bigger on the gauge. A little bit higher on something. the gauge. Okay. So. So, then we got uh, 1100 kV motor. Yep. And what about the prop? I think it's a 10.6, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. 10.6 prop. Uh, and the, we got a prop saver on it in case it hits the ground. Yep, prop Which saver. Which probably will. And, and the ESC is a 20 amp. And the battery is 11.1 11 .1 volt, 3 cell, yeah. 1320. 1320, yeah. 1320 milliamp yeah. hours. And we're using a spectrum receiver. It actually has, the plans call for four servos. So we have, and uh, so it has, two of them are used for the elevator. El ailerons. I mean ailerons. Ailerons, yeah. And then the, uh, Elevator on one and the rudder on one. Yeah, we actually have two servos here just yeah. sort of sitting side by side. Yeah. We don't know for sure how they mounted theirs. So that's how we mounted it. So that's it. Now we're going to take it out and, oh, uh, and fly it. The, these go in sync by a splitter cable. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe I a little less, but. Got a little more, but I don't know. Can't do any loop-de-loop. Uh, it won't be as, it won't be as reactive with the trainer. I don't want to get it right over our heads, but I do like getting close. It's doing better. Needs a little bit of trimming, I think. I think the, uh, New throws I can get an air resistance from that one side maybe. Keep on to the road. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, it needs a little bit of trimming, but here. Yeah. I gave it a little bit now. You're upside down. Yeah, I see it. Oh, come on back over. You need to go to the right. Am I doing good now? No, keep straight. Uh, too late. Crashing in somebody's house. Yeah, I landed in way somebody's down. property tonight. Yep. Okay, well, last time we flew, as you saw on the video, we were a little bit tail heavy and the plane kept wanting to go up. So now we've added a few weights up in the front, actually two nuts, right up there near the motor mount. Four actually, there's two little ones inside there. We also identified the center of gravity as being about an inch and five eighths back from the front edge of the wing. And so it should be balanced a lot better now. It's only like an eighth inch off. All right. I'll turn that over to you and I'll go get the controller. You don't have it plugged in yet. Either, so no. And then in here for the uh, glider. I don't know if you mentioned that last time. But this is controlled by the gear switch on the serve on the controller. Right now we're just gonna test the plane only and then later we'll do the glider. See how it does. You know, it's kind of hard to hold on to now because there's a popsicle stick in my way. Quite a bit of wind, too. Yeah. Alright. 
battery from that side, see? Okay, yeah, but the plugs, you gotta plug in the battery. Oh, well, you want to plug in it. Oh, oh my god, no. see a train going there. I smell something funny all of a sudden when I plug it in. Maybe it's just a sudden rain cloud. It's not plugged in all of a sudden. So. There you go. I hope it's not. Okay, now I'm gonna give it to you. I might want to put the glider down, I don't know. Well, it's going to blow away from Okay, I'm turning this on. Okay, let's, let's just check all the uh, things, because we don't know if they got wrecked. Seems all right. Now, the wind is kind of blowing this way. There's a little bit of wind. All right. I'm going to give it plenty of gusts, so I'll just kind of give it a good shot out there. Well, that's too much of a shot. You pulled it out of my hand crack. All right, but you did it flew perfectly, though. So. Oh, when well. you pull the throttle out hard, though, it just, like, got out of the pull. Yeah, it went straight up on me. There's a swivel with that. Don't crash over there. Well, I'm beautiful, beautiful. Okay, go ahead and land in the grass. We'll try it on the uh, on the glider. Let's see if the glider part works. Okay, I'm gonna go over the road because I don't want to. Maybe I'm not going over the road. All right. This time, since the plane flew so beautifully. We're going to attach this glider to the bottom of it. And hopefully when we get up there, we can release it using the servo. Mm -hmm. And the glider should fall and glide down. Yeah. All right. And eventually we'll have electronics on this and somebody else can control the glider once it's released. That's in the future. All right. Should I turn it on now? Yeah. Make sure it's all to the top. All the down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now. All right, hit it. It's locked. Okay, it's locked in place. Now, whenever you want to release the glider, when you get it close, just release it by pushing the gear switch to the other direction. Now, I don't know what this is going to do to my flight stabilization, so. I don't know either, but we'll find out. All right. It's a little off, it's kind of twisted a little bit. Think a little finicky. The train, the train glider doesn't want to stay on as good, definitely. Yeah, where's the twitch at? The twitch is, I don't know which way. Oh, pull out, pull out. Okay, come over here and look at this. Can't hit it, can you hit it? I don't see it, hit it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, cut the car, just a little bit. Still hanging, so it won't come off. We've done try. Alright, bring this. I kind of did a barrel hole. Yeah. It's hard to do that with that cutting, isn't it? Okay, cut it. Okay, now we're going to have to put it much of a shot. You pulled it out of my hand crack. All right, but you did it. It's blue perfect. 